Hello, my name is Donna Bell, and in today's video, I'm excited to share with you and walk you through my experience with Coursera's Google Data Analytics Certificate. Coursera is a leading online platform that partners with top universities and organizations worldwide to offer courses, specializations, certificates, and degree programs, and they have thousands of courses to choose from. The Google Data Analytics Certificate is one of its offerings. As the name suggests, this is provided in partnership with Google. This certificate is a great starting point for anyone who wants to break into the field of data analytics, particularly those who want to become data analysts. What are data analysts? They are data professionals who sift through a lot of data. They clean it, they transform it, they analyze it, they extract valuable insights, and they help guide the decision-making process in a business or an organization. There are different types of data analysts, and some of them can have slightly different job titles. And these are really specific to industries or specific to organizations. The typical ballpark salary of a data analyst would be anywhere between $50,000 to $100,000. But of course, this depends on a variety of factors, including experience, your industry, and your location. The demand for data analysts have surged in the last 10 years, and this trend is likely to continue. Let's take a look at some statistics from the World Economic Forum. So this is the Future of Jobs Report 2023. So from a technology adoption perspective, so this is kind of forecasting up until 2027, there is an anticipation that many organizations are going to continue adopting different kinds of technologies. But one thing to note is many of these technologies will involve data. And from a new and lost jobs perspective, same thing. Here we can see at the very top, a lot of them are data related. But we do see on the third line, we have business intelligence analysts. We also have information security analysts, big data specialists. And again, a lot of these are related to data analysis. And usually the stepping off point to a lot of these roles is a data analyst. In addition to sharing my experience, I also want to give you a comprehensive overview of the certificate, what it's about, who it's designed for, how much it costs, how long it takes to complete, pros and cons, and some additional considerations and thoughts. I also want to unpack this review from two distinct perspectives. First, from a beginner's perspective, if you have little or no experience and you don't know where to start, is this certificate for you? Will you gain anything out of it? Second, if you are already a seasoned data professional, maybe you're already a data analyst or a data engineer or a data scientist, could this course still be valuable for you? So a couple of disclosures before I continue. Disclosure number one, let me share a little bit about me so that you know where this review is coming from. I already have a number of years of experience working in the data space. Unofficially, I've worn the data analyst hat in many of my roles. I also teach live courses for people who want to switch into the data field. So I am constantly talking to students and really understanding some of their questions, their concerns, the areas that they're struggling with. So from that point of view, I can evaluate the certificate from a beginner's perspective. And spoiler alert, this is where the Google Data Analytics Certificate can become an invaluable guide. It can take away a lot of that intimidation, that uncertainty of not knowing where to start, because it can provide a clear structure and a clear path on how to start. And sometimes that's that's the biggest thing that matters. Once we get started, sometimes we gain that momentum and then we keep on going and we keep on learning. And disclosure number two is this video is sponsored by Coursera. But even if this review is sponsored by Coursera, I'm laying out my experience, kind of the good and the bad, what I think are the pros and the cons. Now that the introduction and disclosures are out of the way, let's now go through the rundown. First, duration. The recommended completion time is about six months. If you can dedicate about 10 hours a week or so to complete the required materials, but this pace varies depending on your experience or the amount of time you can commit. So naturally it can be shorter, it could be longer. The next one is the cost and it gets interesting here. So the cost is completely and directly proportional to the time it takes you to complete the certificate. So this certificate technically can be free or it can get really expensive. So let's sign up for an account together. 
we can enroll anytime. There is financial aid available, about 1.8 million already enrolled at the time of this review. And then on the right hand side, you're going to see a whole bunch of additional information. Recommended experience, essentially no degree or prior experience required. Uh, six months of duration at 10 hours per week, flexible schedule based on your own pace. Let's try to sign up. So once we join, we can start the free seven day trial. So in here, you can have unlimited access to all courses in the certificate. Let's start it. You're also going to be asked to put in your credit card number. So if you're going to try this out and you decide, oh, this is not for me, you're going to have to go back to your profile and then cancel the subscription. Otherwise, your card is going to get charged. So just be very careful of that. So once you put your credit card information, you're all set. Let's get started. So you're going to be taken directly to the first course. It's going to give you a little bit of an introduction to the course materials. So essentially here, this is the first course, foundations, data, data everywhere. And then everything is scheduled by week. So for this particular one, you have five weeks and each of these weeks, it will have its own materials. You also have on the right hand side, a schedule tracker. So you can kind of keep track of when the recommended deadlines are in the course material. You're also going to have grades. So once you've completed all of these, you're going to see your grades or your marks in here. If you're taking notes, you can see your notes in here. For me particularly, I didn't really use these notes. I used my own note taking app. So I use Obsidian. Um, I have my outlines there. I have my notes. Let's take a look at overall what are the topics that are covered in this certificate. So from here, you can see a roadmap. At the time of this review, the certificate has eight courses ranging from basic principles of data analytics to more technical and sophisticated topics such as data visualization and R programming. To me, it is a well-rounded set of topics, especially with courses on understanding data. How do we avoid pitfalls? How do we ask the right questions? How do we avoid biases? And how do we prepare the data that's technically flawed? How do we prepare that for data analysis and sharing our insights? It also finishes off with a hands-on capstone project that incorporates some real world case studies. In my case, before I started, I actually had a quick run through of the topics. And at that time, it seemed like I was familiar with more than half of the topics. So in my case, I started the certificate with the goal of trying to finish it within seven days. Again, it's really just more of a personal goal. However, I'm not necessarily recommending that route, especially if you're just starting out, you want to maximize what you're going to learn from this program. So you don't really want to sacrifice what you're going to learn by speed running through uh, the courses. Now let's go back to foundations data data everywhere because it will give us an idea of how the courses are structured. Now, one thing I really like about this certificate and the overall program is the way it's structured. So it is very clear to me what I need to tackle week by week. And it also summarizes right away how much video is left, how many readings are left, um, if there are any graded assignments. I also really like the variety. I like that there are videos and I also like that there are readings. Now let's quickly take a look at the video. I actually prefer watching the videos at two times the speed or faster. Please don't make that your goal. That's if I'm familiar with the materials, but if I'm not familiar with the materials, I'll probably watch it at normal speed. The good thing about this is if I scroll down, I'm going to see the transcript and notice in here that as the instructor is speaking, you're going to see some highlighted areas. So that's what the instructor is talking about at this point. And if I miss something, it's actually very easy to go back. So for example, I kind of want to go back to his introduction to his name. It actually says in here, hi, I'm Tony. If I simply double click this from, um, from the transcript, it replaced the video from that point. So again, it makes it a little bit easier for me to follow along. And if I kind of clue in that I've missed some important points, I can easily go back.
Also, I would recommend take advantage of subtitles. In addition to listening, I would have the subtitles on as well. And again, I, now I have three different ways of kind of catching the information. I think the courses are well put together. They've done a great job giving an overall view of the data analysis landscape in a way that's easy to understand and easy to remember. And even if you're a seasoned data pro, it's always good to get the refreshers. It's actually getting it from a different lens, from a different perspective. The instructors in this program, they're all practitioners. They all do what they teach, which is amazing. You do have quizzes peppered throughout the modules. Every week also has this bigger module challenge. You know, it's not a lot of questions, but it's also timed. And you are limited to three tries every 24 hours. When you finish all of the eight modules, they are going to assign you a certificate. Now for the certificate, you do need to provide a proof of identity. Otherwise they cannot um, issue your, your certificate. So in here is going to confirm all of the modules and courses that I've completed. Let's actually go back here. So in here I can see certificate for every course and I can also see an overall certificate for the Google Data Analytics certificate. And this is something that you can share. You can share this in LinkedIn or maybe on your personal profiles or portfolios. But in here, it kind of just verifies that you have completed this program. Now Coursera will also send you a badge through Credly. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna accept my badge. So in here, I can accept the badge and I can choose to make it public if I wanted to. Now let's talk about the tools that you're going to be introduced to. I'm specifically using the word introduced to because while you are introduced to many of the tools, there is no one deep dive. You get to use some of the tools to the extent that you're going to be comfortable to run with it afterwards. However, there's no masterclass that allows you to learn all the ins and outs of any one of the tools. And this is probably where some of your past experiences will come to play. For example, if you have experience in spreadsheets before, then it's going to be a little bit easier for you to follow the practices and the quizzes and the exercises. However, if this is totally brand new to you, then you're probably gonna need to do a little bit more practice and maybe some more exploration. For the SQL modules, they use Google BigQuery. I don't use Google BigQuery a lot in my day-to-day, -day, so I quite enjoy this part. You will realize the different database management systems, they will all have overarching similarities. They all deal with databases and they all deal with some kind of SQL or structured query language, which means whatever you learn in this certificate will be transferable, even if you're going to be using SQL Server in the future or Oracle or Snowflake or some other database management system. Google BigQuery also has a free usage tier. So in here, you can simply use the sandbox. It means it has some limitations, but it is enough for you to complete the certificate. So for example, if I go to the sandbox, in here, we can go to Google BigQuery. So another thing I really like about this setup is with Google BigQuery, it already comes with a lot of public data sets. So you can focus on learning SQL and perhaps composing your own questions rather than trying to set up and find a data set that you can query. So again, in here, I've already started mine. So this is BigQuery public data. If I expand this, there's going to be a lot of public data sets that you can simply just start using. So for example, in here, if I'm interested in FDA food, if I'm interested in food events, I can simply query that one. And perhaps in here, I'm interested in the first 1000 records, I can simply click on run and then I can navigate and take a look at the records. Now, this is also a pretty big table. So if we check how many records there are, let's remove limit in here and we run this again. Again, this is about 200,000 records. Again, we didn't have to do a lot of that setup. It is already available for us to use. The other two main tools introduced are Tableau for data visualization and R programming for pretty much anything data analysis. So you can load data, you can analyze data, clean data, and even visualize data using R programming. Both of these have cloud versions if you don't want to go through the trouble of installing it in your own machine. Personally, I preferred to have both of these installed. I wanted to have my own local instance. And I thought the installation was pretty straightforward and I didn't have any issues. 
Now, I had high hopes for Tableau, but I have to admit it's not my favorite course. Maybe I just had a different expectation of what the course will provide. I felt there was a lot of theory, and while it's good, I thought that it could use more guided hands-on exercises or more variety of examples. But again, it, I might just be colored by my expectations kind of going into the module. Our programming, on the other hand, is probably the course that I enjoyed the most. And it's probably because of a combination of me not having any background on R. So to me, it was pretty exciting. I wanted to learn it for a long time, but I was just, you know, kind of pretty intimidated or afraid to, to, to learn it. Um, and this course gave me that opportunity. And I thought the instruction and the delivery and the exercises and the examples, I thought they were all very clear. I didn't really have a lot of issues kind of following along the exercises or even doing my own hands-on. There were also a few other tools that were mentioned or introduced like Jupyter or Kaggle or GitHub, but the main tools were mostly Google Sheets, BigQuery, Tableau, and R. So now let's cover some pros and cons. This certificate has breadth, but it doesn't have a lot of depth. It covers a lot of ground, but it doesn't cover some topics in great detail. So you might need to go out and research yourself or do additional practice yourself if you want to be really good at, for example, specific tools. Uh, the hands-on exercises are good because they reinforce the learning, but you have to have self-discipline. You have to have focus. You can't give up if you encounter any issues. Um, and again, depending on your experience, this could get overwhelming. Now, as far as cost is concerned, I've mentioned this before, it can start as free, but it can get really expensive. So if it takes you a really long time to finish the certificate, then it could get really expensive. Now, in terms of schedule, it is quite flexible, but again, it kind of requires that self-discipline. You kind of need to keep yourself accountable. As far as the instruction is concerned, I thought most of the instructors were engaging and clear. And I think it was also helpful that they would give you advice on what the real world tasks might be like. Uh, and they would give you some nuggets of wisdom of things to watch out for. And some of them will go back and remember what it was like when they were starting out. So again, for you as the audience, as the student, it's something that you can relate to. Towards the end, I think a very big plus for me is there was a mock job interview. And I thought it was pretty good. Again, especially if you're kind of brand new, you don't know what to expect if you are going to go for uh, an interview. So I thought it was a really good addition. So finally, what is my take on it? Well, it might have been obvious in my review, but I think that this certificate is worthwhile to take. If you are a beginner, I think you're going to get a lot out of this certificate. It's like teaching you how to cook. It teaches you the basics in the kitchen, how to use the stove, how to cook basic meals. More importantly, it also teaches you not to hurt yourself. So they talk about data pitfalls, asking the right questions, what do wrong questions look like. And then after you learn the basics, you can pick up some of the topics and essentially run with it. For beginners, I would encourage you to really take your time. Repeat the videos as you need to. Don't speed run it. Go to the resource links, do additional exercises. This is really how you're going to get a lot out of this course. Also, it's important to emphasize that this is just the starting point. Could you really get a data analyst role with just the certificate? Well, it's a, it's a maybe or a maybe not, but it's possible. There are a lot of variables when you're looking for a job. And it also highly depends on what you do with what you learned from the certificate afterwards. You still need to show and prove to your potential employers what you can do, what you can bring to their organization. So this is where having your own portfolio with your personal projects will come in handy. If you're already a data professional, I think it's still a worthwhile certificate to take, especially if you have some gaps to fill. For example, in my case, I don't use Google BigQuery or R in my day to day, and I really enjoyed learning them and using them. And since I completed the course, I've been dabbling more in these tools. So to wrap up, 
I feel like I've gained a lot from this certificate, apart from new tools. I feel like it's also reignited my interest in taking more courses in data analytics. I've also now just signed up for Coursera Plus, and I have my eye on the Google Advanced Data Analytics Certificate. How about you? Do you think it's right for you? And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sticking around, and I'll see you again next time.